I've got a um a circle. Cir a circular peg here. Yeah. And I got a square hole. And a square hole. And you wanna have the circle go through the hole, but its diameter is bigger than the diagonal of the square line in the square. Which means it no, you can't means it can't go through. But if I took it this way. Then this hole here Then you're doing sort of origami work here. Then this can fit. This there it does fit. See it does fit. Yeah it does. Look at that. Look at that. Look at those, it does fit this way. <laughs> this is crazy, but it doesn't fit this way. It doesn't fit this way. This way, it's it's obviously bigger. But it does fit if I But it's it. like it's like a miracle. How come it fits? So uh basically I have uh so so I've called the diameter of the circle, F, F. Yeah. and the length of the square hole, I've called D. Yeah. And basically, the F and the D, um, uh, you set up an inequality, which is that the square root of... 2d squared is less than s is less than 2d. And and how did you come up with this inequality? Where did you get it from? I got it from a video. They actually gave this inequality in the video. No, they didn't. I uh, have uh, I just uh, translated that into uh, uh, translated what they gave me in the video to algebra, so, so it's... Oh, okay, so, so you watched a number file video about sort of like math origami, and you translated what they were showing there... It's called inside. round peg in a square hole, so... Oh, okay, it's a number file video. Alright, so you, you made this inequality, and then you're squaring both parts, and you com come to the conclusion that f over d squared... Is in between two and four, which is a ratio squared. Yeah, so ratio the, of the squares of the f and the d should be between two and four. Yeah, so the ratio between the diameter of the circle and the length of the square, all squared, uh, should be in between two and four. So, uh, and this is this is what allowed you to build this. But you also have to know how to fold this. Because if you don't fold it correctly... Yeah, that they explained in the video. Um, so What's the magic? Basically, so basically how, how are you making the hole go bigger? Like, go like this. So you just fold it in half like this and then you just tuck. And then the hole becomes bigger. And then this actually becomes 2D there. Oh, that becomes 2D that way. Oh, you have to first make sure that you cut... Wait a sec. <laughs> what did you cut first? How did you make such a thing? I first cut the square hole, which is actually more complicated. Uh, first you cut the square hole, and then you you know then that this is 2D. Uh, actually, I just worked them out at the same time. So, uh, actually, uh, pick number between 2 and 4, right? 3? Well, 3, yeah. <laughs> Obviously, 3 is in between 2 and 4. Uh, so, 3... Uh, so I've chosen the ratio between the diameter of the circle and the length of the square, all square. But it should be three. That 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 it should be three. No, uh, it could be a floating point, but uh, okay. Uh, uh, um, I've chosen them to be. Yeah, because three is not a square three. number. 
Right? Three could not be a square of something. Uh, and uh, I've chosen just for the simplicity's sake that f is ten, <laughs> so uh, ten centimeters. So plus for some. And z sake. is then. Uh, uh, and then if you choose your numbers like this, then d is about five point seven seven. Okay. Centimeters. But did you actually measure it? Did you actually, is this the way you, I don't really understand what, you said, you said you made the square first. Yep. But now you're saying that you chose F first, that it should be 10. Yeah, I first chosen the circle, and then I've calculated it for the square, then I cut out the square, ah, and then I did the circle. So. Okay. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs>